If you'd like to be successful, you have to focus on one thing. One single thing is what gets you to where you want to go. But I'm still focused in the property goal. You can see I'm still profile. So I did not put the money in front of me, right? I put knowing what to do in front of me. Taking that action is what gets you to the next level. Taking that action is what gets you to where you want to be. Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to share with you the science of success. In other words, the formula of success. Before we get going, if you like this video or any of my videos, don't forget to hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials and liking and subscribing to my, to my YouTube channel also help the algorithm boost the, um, our videos out there so you can reach more and more, more people. So I'd appreciate if you can share it with friends and family. So I've been approached by so many people asking, oh, what's the formula for success? What can I do to be successful? You know, like literally you can see people doing it the, the, um, the um, wrong way all the time. So I thought today's video is to talk about success. What is the success formula? What will take you from where you are to where you want to go without having lots of issues along the way. You may have issues obviously, but these issues are issues that will take you to the next level. So from what I've, from what I've seen, copied, replicated, and obviously made myself better is these three formulas. The number one formula, the number one thing anybody who wants to be successful, whether you're an entrepreneur, um, business person, um, property investor, whatever you do in your life, this applies to you basically, right? The first thing you need to basically is to focus. So what do I mean by, by focus? If you want to do something, one thing, focus on that one thing, right? Put all your energy in it, put all your energy in it, focus in it. I've seen so many people saying, I want to do properties, I want to do rent to SA, I want to do rent to rent. They tell me I want to do rent to SA, this is my strategy, right? And look at what they're doing. They're doing something completely different. They either maybe do rent to say today, tomorrow, or rent to rent to say work tomorrow. They're in a different strategy. Or they spend watching TV, watching Netflix, Amazon Prime, watching football games. They're not doing actually what they are supposed to do, right? They, they're not focusing it. And they're, they're literally watching social media ch um, channels, seeing people doing amazing things online. They don't even know how these people are achieving this thing. And they get derailed and start thinking about another strategy. Today, they want to do properties. The next day, they want to be a social influencer. And the other day, they want to be, want to do drop, drop shipping or, or, or the other day, they want to ha have an online business. So it doesn't work like that. If you'd like to be successful, you have to focus on one thing. One single thing is what gets you to where you want to go right? If you want to do two, three things, four things, you're not going to get there, right? Anybody who hasn't got a destination or a focus will not get to where they want to go, right? And you, you may be recalling right now how many stuff you've been doing and it hasn't, gone, it hasn't, make you, it hasn't made your life better. If you, if you look into it deeply, it's because you're not focusing one thing. If you're not focusing one thing, it will not get you there. I'll give you an example for when, when I started. So when I start my property investment journey, I get bombarded with so many strategies like rent to rent, rent to SA, buy refurbish and refinance, purchase lease option. There's so many strategies out there. I was thinking, what the hell, how do I start, right? But what I did basically, I looked into myself, I look at my financial situation, I look at my position physically, mentally and morally, I decided to go on with one strategy right and that strategy was rent to rent right i focused on that strategy i did not do any other strategy right i literally was on it now how did i learn that i learned that by an interview i watched i watched the video i saw online where a journalist interviewed um, bill, bill gates he said if bill gates can literally specify in one word what made him successful what made him where he is right now what makes him so successful and everybody wants to work with him bill gates literally replied to that interview and said his focus Focus is what gets you to where you want to go. He did not focus on, on doing so many stuff. He focused in that strategy he was doing, which is computer, when he was very good at knowing what to do and was very good at employing people to do what he doesn't know how to do. But he concentrated in that strategy. He literally pinpointed it. So when I learned that from that interview, I implemented it in my life. Right? I said, listen, I'm not going to look at any other strategy. Rent to rent is my strategy and I'm going to be successful in it. Right? And I, and I start looking for clues. 
right, about people who are successful. I look at Poundland as well. Look at that guy. He's literally selling everything in his store for a pound and he's been successful. He did not go and open a, a, a Debenhams store or maybe Morrison or say another supermarket. He concentrated in selling things one pound. And guess what? That made him a multi-millionaire and he's got so many shops out there that are generating him handsome return on his investment. Again, these are the things I look, I look around. Because when you look around, about around you, you see, you look at the successful people, look at what they're doing. Right, when they started, they only started with one thing. They started with one business idea or one strategy and that what gets them to where they are today. I'll give you myself as an example. That's what I did. I literally binge study executed rent to rent for two reasons. One, I didn't have money to start. That was a literally easy thing. I didn't have money to start and, and I knew Right, doing rent to rent, rent to rent will get me to where I want to go. So when I when I when I knew rent to rent, when I know in and out, when people know me about rent to rent, and then I diversify into different strategies. I moved into rent to service accommodation, and I moved to buy refurbishing refinance, and I moved because now I've got people who will be doing that for me. Right, I don't have to physically, literally sit down and do all that stuff again. So I dedicate my time that, that way because I know then I focus on that, I've learned from it. So what I did, I educated myself in the other strategy and I get people, team around me that would execute things like that. But I'm still focused in the property goal. You can see I'm still profile. So I did not put the money in front of me, right? I put knowing what to do in front of me and I focused on it. I used to have so many emails coming through me, buy refurbishing, refinance, Purchase list option deals, you know, deal sourcing. Everybody's coming left, right, and center, throwing all the all these noises at me. But I was able to block my ears and focused on rent to rent. And rent to rent is what gets me to where I am today. And I still do rent to rent today because that's what gets me to, to um, where I am. So basically, it's like having a car, basically. If you want to get to Birmingham, if you're in London, that sat nav you use focus in one key point. So what the sat nav does basically, once you punch that postcode, it literally starts, it literally focused on where you are first, right? It looks at where you are before it literally draws a roadmap to take you to where you want to go. So it is the same thing. If you've got a vision, if you've got a goal, right? That's how you take it to the next level by focusing on one thing. Please, I don't like you to do different strategies or different businesses or me literally you're doing everything if you're doing everything you're not going to get anywhere because your energy is divided your energy is divided remember wherever your focus go energy flows write this down where your where your focus go energy flows because what happened is your mind would be in that right i will give an example if you if you ever bought a car in your life right before you start looking at what sort of cars to buy you don't know what sort of cars are out there but as soon as you said you wanted a specific car guess what when you look around you see that car everywhere right but because you know why it's because your mind is focusing that car then you start seeing it everywhere right You're like oh i thought this there are not lots of cars like this but then you start seeing that you know what because your mind is focused into that same when it comes to properties okay if you focus on one strategy you would see lots of landlords who want to give you their properties or you can see lots of investors who wants to work with you because guess what like attract right because you're you are pivotal on that sort of thing so focus on what you're doing do not substitute anything for your strategy if you do rent to rent stick to it rent to service are coming to stick to it stick to it do not change it for anybody else don't see someone doing something online oh man he's doing lots of fun do not compete with anybody else right only compete with yourself if you're doing better today than you did yesterday you are progressing it's not a competition right it's to get you to where you want to go second formula of success or science of success is massive action gigantic action right take that action because that action is what gets you to the next level it's not about reading books it's not about going to property events it's not about paying courses right it's important paying all these courses getting the mentor and all that sort of thing but if you're not taking action it's not going to get you anywhere right it's not going to get you anywhere because taking that action is what gets you to the next level taking that action is what gets you to where you want to be okay no matter how many knowledge they said knowledge is power it's no longer power knowledge is potential power taking action is power okay no matter how many how many knowledge you have if you're not taking action 
it will not take you to where you want to go. So take, take gigantic action, take massive action. Don't fear about the unknown because there's so many people, oh really I want to do it but I don't know what's going to happen. You know like I want to wait on, until all the lights are green. It will never happen. The lights will never ever go green, right? You'd have to take that action. You get a green light, you go through. If you've got an amber or red light, you wait. Right? When it becomes green, then you continue your, your journey. Hence the reason why it's important to get coaches and mentors along the way. You know why? It's because if you get a coach or a mentor, you will learn what they've learned for 10 years in about a day or a couple of days. That's the reason why you get these people around you. It, it literally expedites your process. It takes you to the next level. Imagine you wanted to learn something, you go on Google, start being clever, Googling stuff. It takes about four or five hours to get the answer. And you can get so many bunch of information, you don't know which one is right or wrong, okay? But if you've got a coach or a mentor to guide you through the process, obviously it makes it a lot quicker, right? They've got this experience, five, three, or some of them got seven, 10 years, some of them got even 20 years, right? So basically they've walked through that path, right? Instead of you Googling the stuff or kind of YouTubing stuff, get someone to guide you, mentor you, take you to the end, take you to the next level and back that up with massive action, massive gigantic action. That's what gets you to where you want to go. I remember when I started my journey, I was like, oh, I'm going to get 21 properties. People, friends and family was thinking, yeah, I'm crazy, right? They think I'm crazy, right? It took me several months to get my first deal, but guess what? I hit my target by the end of the month, by the end of the year. I hit it because I took, I took massive action, gigantic action. I wasn't fearful. I wasn't fearful of the unknown. I said, listen, whatever happened, I'm going to get there, right? I'm going to get there. Then guess what? I got there at the end right so it's all about taking action gigantic action when you check take those actions don't worry about the negativity because so many people the way our mind is framed here's the thing the way our mind is framed is framed to see negative stuff is to see bad things i'm going to lose this money or or if i pay this guy to kind of train me mentor me yeah i might not get it you've paid thirty thousand or forty thousand pounds going to uni where did that get you <laughs> where did i get you in a twenty-five thousand pounds job right the best way to get you to financial freedom is getting someone to mentor you, coach you, and back that up with a massive action, gigantic action. That's the only thing that will take you to the next level. I'll give an example now. Warren and Bill Gates, for example. Warren mentors Bill Gates, but you will never hear that on the news. Warren is a mentor. He mentored Bill Gates to get to Bill, get Bill Gates where he is today. So again, these are the things successful people do. I had a mentor, I've got a coach, I learn every single day. I go to property events, property courses. Literally, I just came from a course, right? I improve myself, I learn every single day. I get mentors, coaches to coach me in all side of all, in, in all aspects of business. That's what will take you to the next level because guess what? I copy that from successful people. I copy that from the millionaires, I copy that from the billionaires, because that's what they do. They get someone to guide them, and then guess what, they take massive action. They surround themselves with these people, guess what, they take massive action. That's what you need to do. If you want tomorrow to be better than today, it's taking massive, gigantic action. That's what will take you to the next level. And the final thing um, uh, you need to look at, um, if you, um, to know the science of success, it's what I call grace. Some people call it God, some people call it Allah, some, some, some people call it Jehovah, um, whatever, however you call it is grace. It's having gratitude of what you've achieved, right? Look at yourself. What have you achieved today, right? It's been a whole day today. Look at yourself, what you've, whatever you achieve, be grateful to your maker. If you don't believe God, just be grateful in whatever you believe in, right? Because that's what makes you appreciate life. Don't look at the bad things that happen to you. Don't look at the negative things that happen to you. Look at something that you could appreciate that will bring a smile, a joy to you. Maybe it's not to do with property even. Maybe if you've got a beautiful girlfriend, for example, you had a date, she's beautiful and she loves and she literally likes you. Or maybe you've engaged someone today or maybe you've got children, right? Look at those children, look at them, like smile because that is a grace. That is grace. God, God gave you that without even buying it. It's free, right? Look for whatever happened to your life that, that you could be grateful for. Or maybe your health, right? If you're able to go out and come back, nothing has happened to you. You, you did not get run, you did not get run by a, a, a bus or a train, whatever it is, be grateful. Be grateful. Here's the key. Be grateful for what you have and be grateful for what you're going to have in the future, right? Praise God in advance. Be graceful. Be graceful. Be grateful to God in advance. Guess what? 
it, it would open doors because God likes if whatever whatever religion you are, God like or grace like people appreciating what they've had. Okay, any surprises you have? If you had a surprise today, be be grateful to it. But what you do, bring smile and joy to it. Guess what? It opens more doors. This is the formula or the science of success. If you want to be successful, if you want to be one of those people that everybody admire, it could it could be anything. You could be a pastor, an imam, or a, or, or whatever you are. Right? Just be grateful for what you have. It would enable you to have more, enable you to bring happiness in your life and to the people around you. I'll go again, summarize this thing for you. The science of success, number one, is focus. Focus on what you're doing. One thing, don't do 20 things in one time. The second thing, basically, take massive action, gigantic action. Don't worry about what's gonna happen, right? Just take action. If you know what's gonna happen, you're not gonna do it. Just take action, take you to the, to the next level. Number three is grace. Some people call it God, Allah, whatever, however way you call it. Just be grateful for whatever you achieve and what you're going to achieve in the future. If you like this video or any of my videos, don't forget to hit the like button below. Subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. Don't forget to share our videos so that then they'll be ranked higher um, in the um, YouTube um, video ranking. So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to sharing the next video.